Welcome to a new lecture, Timmins, the Rural Northern Immigration Pilot Program, and how to apply for the community recommendation. Here we are in the website of Timmins, the Economic Development Corporation, and we can see the resources that they have in this newly published page. And what we can see here, if you go to the left side, we have a lot of links for information for potential immigrants and foreign workers that want to apply under the pilot program to the city of Timmins in Ontario and go straight to the material here the applicants we have information and we have several steps to apply for Timmins for that recommendation number, number one the step one will be of course as we understand we need to meet the IRCC requirements then step two will be to secure an permanent employment in Timmins in one of the eligible sectors and we're going to see the information here about the sector and occupation that are part of this program you can actually visit the jobs in teamings.com we're going to see that website later on and it's important that you fill out the rural and northern immigration pilot offer of employment form that we saw in the past and get the information from the employer so these are the step in the step two now let's take a look at the occupations that they are including in this program we have in the healthcare and social work, we have registered nurses as an occupation, NOC 3012. We have nurse ADs and patient service associates, NOC 3413. We have licensed practical nurses. We have general protection and family physicians. We have social workers. We have childhood educators and assistants. We have social and community service workers. We have home support workers, housekeepers, and related occupations, and we have a specialist physicians. So, in the area and sector of healthcare and social work, these are the occupations that qualify. When it comes to trades, licensed and non licensed, important to understand the difference. NOC 7312 is going to be for heavy duty equipment mechanics. You have also NOC 7321 for automobile service technician, truck and bus mechanic, and mechanical repairs. You have the NOC 7311 for construction, mill rides, and industrial mechanics. We have construction trade helpers in NOC 7611. Welders and related mechanic operators, NOC 7237. NOC 7271 for carpenters, so they're looking for carpenters in Timmins. NOC 7241 for electricians. NLC 7251 for plumbers. Remember that some of the occupations you need to have a license, so you need to remember that beforehand. You have NLC 7511 for transport truck drivers, NLC 7521 for heavy equipment operators, NLC 7535 for other transport equipment operators and related and maintenance workers, NLC 8231 for underground production and developing miners. NLC 8614 for mine laborers, people that uh, work in mine. NLC 941 for machine operators and related workers in mineral and metal products. NLC 943 for mechanic operators and related workers in port and paper production and wood processing and manufacturing. If you're working with paper production uh, as machine operators, then NLC 943 is available. Then we continue with another sector in business administration, the NOC 111 for auditors, accountants, and investment professionals, NOC 121 for administrative service supervisors, NOC 1311 for accounting technicians and bookkeepers, NOC 0621 for retail and wholesale trade managers, and NOC 063 for managers in food service and accommodation. So if you're a manager of a restaurant, hotels and that kind of facilities, then NLC 063 have a choice for you. When it comes to information technology, IT, the NLC 0213 for computer information system managers is available. NLC 2147 for computer engineers. NLC 2171 for information system analysts and consultants. NLC 2172 for database and analysts and data administrators and NOC 2173 for software engineers and designers. And when it comes to open NOC of 10 applicants, so 
applicant with a job offer not listed above will be considered only at the discretion of the community recommendation committee. So highest skill level occupations such as engineers, veterinarians, chef, cooks are example of jobs being considered under the open NOC. So the, this type of occupation will be considered under the open NOC and then they have a maximum of 10 applicants per period, okay? And here, if we continue below, we can see that the following jobs here, they are excluded and are not eligible for this program. Occupations such as 6421 for retail salesperson, 6511 for hostel hostesses, 6512 for bartenders, 6513 for food and beverage servers, 6611 for cashiers, 6622 for store chef stockers, clerks, and other fillers, and 6711 for food counter attendants, kitchen helpers, and related occupations are not included in this program. So you need to look for another choices. But for this pilot program for the city of Timmins, you do not qualify. Then if you qualify in the previous occupations, then you go to step three. And once you have been eligible based on step one and step two, and the TDSDC will prioritize applicants who are mostly to serve in teamings for the long term, okay, and can contribute to the economy. So you understand that. They're going to choose the people that best meet the needs for the community. Only the highest scoring candidates will be further assessed for recommendations. So they're going to be scoring people, and you're going to see the information about how to determine your score. But the people with the, or the candidates with the highest scoring, will be able to be assessed for recommendation. And then you have this information here. The requirements for the community, you have an offer of employment in one of the four priorities NOC groups. You see the healthcare and social work, the trades, the business administration, and the information technology, or offer a position in the open NOC group that we talk about, the 10, uh, the 10 uh, applicable uh, positions. You get 10 points for that. Then you have obtained a work experience within the boundaries of Timmins. Work experience is defined as full time, 30 hours or more per week, paid employment with a local business of a minimum six months. So you get five points for that. Okay. You graduated from a public school institution, post secondary institution in Timmins, including Timmins campus of College Boreal, University of the Hearst, Algoma University, or Northern College. If you graduate from any of those institutions uh, in Timmins, you get five points. So you are currently residing and have resident within the border of Timmins at a least of six months period prior to the launch of the rural immigration pilot program or six months prior to submitting the application for the community recommendation. So you need to have a proof of lease agreement that you prove that you live in Timmins, home purchase agreement, utility invoice or mortgage statement. And if you can prove that, you're going to get 10 points. So you can see that if you continue down the road, you meet all these requirements, you get points after points. So you demonstrated your language ability by obtaining at least a Canadian language benchmark CLB and or a nivel de competence, linguist Canadians, level four, across a skill in both languages. If you can prove that, then you can get 10 points. Then if you visit a team of at least one night of a stay in the past five years, you get five points. So you just with one night, you can prove that you were in teams for a night, you get five points for that. Your spouse or common law partner can contribute to economic and social life in teams by, and then this is for your spouse. If you they receive a valid job offer for an employer within the census boundaries of the cities of Timmins and the employer meet the eligibility requirements, you get 10 points for that if your spouse got that. Having at least two years of full-time or continuous work experience in one of the priority NOC group, if any of the group, then you get five points. Having English and language abilities in CLV or NCLV level four in all categories as demonstrated by language test results, then you get five points in the case of your wife. And a spouse or common law partner has submitted second language test results demonstrating the CLV or ENC level four of higher in all categories, then you get five points on top of that. So if your spouse have English or French and then have a second language too, then you have five points for one, five points for the other. So interesting to know 
and then you can also a reference letter should be stated for the nature of the lens of relationship and be signed by the community member identified as your connection to the community. Applicants may not submit more than one letter of reference with their application. So you will need a reference of uh, a reference letter, uh, just you know, proving the relationship with the community. And please note that candidates may be requested to participate in a formal interview to further assess their criteria. Okay, that was for step three. Step four then is gonna come to where it comes email and the application. You will complete the application and gonna provide an email. Upon you have the submission of the application, there's a $100 non-refundable processing fee that you will be charged as payable to Timmins Economic Development Corporation and the payment detail will be provided by email. So you'll be able to pay, they're gonna provide you through a message in, by email, how to pay that, okay? But for that application, you need to complete the form of employment, IMM 5484. You need to complete the schedule one applicant form, IMM 5911. You need to send the detailed resume. The resume has to be in the Canadian standard, of course. You need to provide the language test here. They cannot be more older than 24 months. You need to provide your educational credential of a copy of Canadian degree if you study in Canada. You need to provide a proof of funds if you're not currently working in Canada uh, through a bank statement. You need to provide your proof that you have a valid temporary resident status if you are in Canada. And your status must be valid on the day you submit your application. Example of documents you may submit to include for a copy of passport pages, clearly showing the stamp made by Canadian authorities of your most recent entry to Canada, or for a copy of your current immigration document, if you have one. Okay, if you have a study permit or work permit, you can provide those documents as well, and any other supporting documents. And then you complete the application by steering the, the steering committee on a monthly basis, applicants meeting the eligibility and community recommendations required at least listed or step one, two, and three, and four. So once you do all the, the steps, then uh, the person with the highest score will receive a formal community recommendation. Okay. The application that have not been issued for my recommendation will be retained for three months. Then after those three months, is ne they never contact you back again. Then you you can assume that you were not elected and you can reapply again after those three months. And here they are telling you about how to follow the procedure. Remember the one hundred dollars processing fee, Canadian dollars that they will you will need to pay if you apply through Timmins. Then there's a step five. Then you are selected, you'll be able to apply for permanent residence. And once you receive your permanent residence, then you will need to contact the team the Economic Development Corporation. You're going to share the details of your timeline to relocate on Timmins. Your local personnel will arrange a work on you in the community. So you will start making the contact for the settlement and your trip to settle in Timmins. And then you have information here for the Timmins employers. If you have an employer, that is not aware of this program, you can refer to this page and send this information. They will be able to read how they can qualify under the pilot programs in Timmins and that can help you secure employment in Timmins. So I hope you enjoyed this lecture and we'll see you in the next one with more information. Also pay attention to any assessment that we're going to include after this lecture so you can do that and get ready to apply for Timmins if you like that, okay? Thank you very much and remember to subscribe to this information here. They have a community profile here. You can download this guide and also get information from experts in the program by checking this information here. All right. Thank you very much and have a great one.